Hey, what up, guys? This is DukeFan789 with a C Sharp tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on a pause menu. Now, some people may already know how to do this, some other people don't. Um, but I think some of you are looking for is why in the hell, when you press the escape button or whatever your pause menu is, can the background controller still move? Or the background mouse look still, look, still move, even though you have it locked? This is what I'm mostly going to be going over today. What some people don't know, and let me go into Unity real quick here, is that if you go into the first person controller, you will see that it has a mouse look, you know, no big deal. But under your main camera, it also has a mouse look. Now, they are not the same, well, correction, they are the same one, but this mouse look on your main menu only controls the vertical. That's it, just the vertical. Now, your first person controller controls the horizontal. First thing you want to do is you want to make the first person controller be your main controller over your entire mouse. So, you want to go under the mouse look script right here where it's on your inspector, click and select mouse X and Y, and this is under the axis settings. Now, this will control both your X and Y movements. Next is you want to set a sensitivity for Y. Now, um, this is all what's off of your main camera. If you go ahead and look at it, if you want to back and check it real quick. It's uh, 10, negative 60, and 60. These are the numbers we're going to be looking at. We are looking at the minimum Y, maximum Y, and sensitivity for Y. So let's go ahead and transfer this over real quick. So we got the sensitivity is set to 10. You got the minimum Y is negative 60. And you got the maximum Y, which is 60. Now, now that this is all done, you can go ahead and go to your main menu, right click that script, and remove component. You do not need it anymore. Don't worry, because if you press play, oh, sorry, I got the hiccups. If you press play, you still can move. <clears throat> sorry, and these hiccups are kicking my butt. Whew. Anyways, you can still move around with the controllers, and that thing just made me fall through it. That's just great. Oh, and I don't have my pause menu yet. That's great, too. Anyways, now that this has been removed, and then this has been set to your main X and Y, we can now continue on with the pause script. Now, yeah, I mean, technically you can do that before you even make the pause script, but here's what you want to do next. I created a few private integers for, you know, button width, button height, group width, group height. These are all to be described in maybe another video, maybe this one, depending on if I have time. But here's here's the main thing. I created a boolean. And the boolean is for uh, paused. Now, I want pause to be false, so it, it does not start right away. And I'll go into these later. I'll put if paused, so if if pause does happen to become true, this is what's going to happen. GUI begin group, new rectangle, blah, blah, blah. This is, this is the rectangle group that I'm giving it. So this is containing all the buttons. Uh, you know, these basic GUI buttons. And that's, this is where button width and button height come in for the, so they're all the same. I don't have to type it in a million times. Give it a little bit of spacing in it, and then give it, then what it does, you know, main menu, loads the main menu, uh, restart game, re reload the game, uh, quit game, you know, application dot quit. So it just exits the whole application. Um, and then I'm going to end the group so that everything that's in here is just clumped together in a group. <clears throat> now, under your, your void update, this is what you want to do, uh, as it's updating, if this button is pressed. So if you know input dot get key up and i'm going to say this now i use get key up so that if you hold the button it will not just cycle through it'll just press it and it won't pop up until you let go of the button so if get key up and the key code is escape so if escape is oppressed um paused equals toggle pause so pause will search under this and will toggle depending on what it's set as so uh, my boolean for this toggle pause is saying 
if my time scale is set to zero, so if uh, if it's already paused where everything is just stopped, it will. I will go into these later. Hold on, let me just make sure this is correct. Yeah, so this one right here is if it is set to zero, it will basically change it back so the time scale is back to one so that, you know, your physics will be running, everything will be moving, no problem at all. And I, I put this on as well, screen.lockcursor equals true, so you can your mouse will stay on your application at all times. Anyways, uh, and then return equals false, so it, it will not return back. What you want to do here is, this is where some people have their issues, and I, I will put this in in a minute, but I'm just letting you know what this will do. Uh, or else, if, if uh, time scale is not equal to zero, so if it's 1, 2, 5, 12, whatever, it'll unlock the cursor so I can move around. It'll set the time, the time scale to zero so it stops all physics and it will return to the, well I'm pretty sure this is what it does, it returns it up to this uh, section up here. Or I'm pretty sure return false return true oh I'm sorry sorry dirt to dirt to dirt to dirt um it'll say paused equals false so this right here will become false or if the time scale is 5 12 whatever the hell it is it'll set it to true so it will set it it will bring up the paused sorry for that I was kind of confused there for a second now here is where you get it to lock. This is the main locking section. You want to go under the if, the if statement for the toggle pause. And what you want to do is you want to tell it, okay, well I'm looking for a game object. Sorry, game, why are you being like this? Why, why, hold on. All right, I found the issue. This thing is, is just hating me for some reason. So it's, it's not gonna pop up with what I need. But if I go to game object, so I'm looking for a game object, and I want it to find it. So I want you to find a game object, and the game object I want you to find is going to be uh, under first first person controller. Now, as you can probably guess what I'm looking for at this point, I want it to find a uh, I want it to find under the first person controller. I want it to find the the mouse look. The mouse look is what controls it. So game compon component. I think that's how you spell it. Game component. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Now the game component I want it to get is um, oh, you want to use the greater than and equal to symbols for that because it, it's it's what will really find it for you. The game object I want it to find is mouse look. I don't know why it's not doing it for me. I'm going to have to type it in myself, but when you do it, it should it should find it for you. Let me make sure this is typed correctly. Compon oh, there's an O in there. Ah. Component. Uh, game component is, it's going to search uh, for mouse look, and I'm going to make sure it is enabled, because it's going to be enabled. And because this is setting the game to be unpaused, I want it to be true, so I can look around you know, and find everything I need. Now this code right here is basically all you need to make sure it's finding the right section. I'm just gonna copy it real quick to save time, but you might wanna to type this multiple times, you know, just to get used to it. Um, but anyways, under this else, this is the pause section. If if it, uh, if it returns it as pause being true, I want it to lock or set the, the component mouse look equals false, so it, it will not be enabled. Now, after this has been done, I can go ahead and save that real quick. I should not get any errors at all. Okay, thank God. Now, I'm going to put this onto my first person controller. So it's right there, right? Right there, right smack right there. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Press play. Okay, there we go. Do the loot do I can move around. Derp to der. Press escape. It it's it locks. You know, that that's all you have to worry about. It it'll lock it for you. Now 
here's an issue. Uh, I noticed this when, when I tried to do this before. If I restart the game... Oh, well, hey, it did it for me. Sometimes it does not... Okay, if I go to, maybe if I go to main menu and then... I know they're not labeled, but... Huh, it is actually doing it for me. Oh, damn you. Anyways. Sometimes, under some some conditions, I don't know, maybe it's coding or what it is, um, it will still lock your, your controller, so it's not always the same. So what you want to do is you're going to want to go down here and copy this here writing, go all the way back to the top, enter, control V. This is under uh, void start, so it starts with your uh, game component mouse look. Uh, enabled equals true, so you don't have to worry about whether or not your mouse will be able to move at the beginning. It just will work. Now, here's a here's what I was going to tell you. This start is very important because you don't want your game to be messed up. Like your time scale will be zero when you load your game. Maybe from uh, if you have a list of them and you select it, and there will be there for there before, and they press escape, and it was stuck and you don't want that mess. So I always make sure that when the game is loaded, this happens. That's what start is. Void on GUI, all your you basically what your GUI, your whatever user interface, game user interface. Um this is all gonna be here. I think that's pretty much it actually. Huh. Uh if you have any questions or I didn't go over anything, let me know. If I'm not very clear, sucks. You know, I'm I'm trying to be as clear as possible, but I don't read off scripts. I feel that I should just be able to talk and, yeah. Oh, and I, uh, you know, maybe five or six shots or so may have may have uh, influenced this video, but damn it, I spent five hours trying to figure it out, and I don't think you guys should have to. I think you guys should be able to just look it up and find it, find the answer, and maybe let's see, what is it, twelve minutes at this point.